My name is Otto Hilska, and today I'll give you a tour of Swarmia, the engineering effectiveness platform for modern software organizations. Whether you're here because you're looking to increase visibility, track Dora metrics, provide better board updates, or give great tools for your teams, know this, your whole business will benefit from a well-functioning engineering team. At Swarmia, we work with some of the best software companies in the world, and we've seen how much they've kept improving as soon as they've identified the root causes of what's slowing them down. We recognize that this is not a trivial problem to solve. Many engineering leaders haven't adopted existing tools or metrics because they know the wrong approach to measuring productivity can harm engineering culture. Each team's situation is unique, so just plotting data about their productivity and expecting to be able to compare it to someone else is a recipe for disaster. At Swarmia, we look at engineering effectiveness from these three perspectives. First, business outcomes. Your first priority is to make sure that product development is a good investment. Swarmia helps you track your most important cross-team initiatives and understand the type of work your teams are investing in. Once you see where the time is going, you can automatically report on the cost side of things. Second, developer productivity. Anyone creating software at scale has seen how complexity slows things down over time. By having system-level visibility to healthy and research-backed productivity measures, you can solve these bottlenecks before they snowball into huge issues. Third, developer experience. You need to build an environment where getting the job done is easy. Swarmia combines productivity data with perspectives from your developers and helps you instrument your development infrastructure. All these areas have one thing in common. You need to be able to trust the data. That's why we built our whole product around a robust data platform that supports your team's current ways of working, allows you to see behind the aggregate numbers to explain what's going on, and also integrates with any existing reports or systems you're using. Now let's have a look at the product in action. As an engineering leader, your number one priority is to ensure you're focusing on the things that move your business in the right direction. That's what the business outcomes lens in Swarmia is for. People from outside the engineering organization often expect you to just focus on building new features, but we know it's more complex than that. We're balancing long-term and short-term, technical depth and business value. Swarmia gives you multiple lenses into your investment balance. For example, you can use it to see how much time different teams are spending on building new things, improving existing things, making productivity improvements, and keeping the lights on. You'll quickly be able to identify teams that might benefit from extra investment, or teams that are struggling with reactive work. Alternatively, you can look at the investment balance through other lenses to observe product themes or work serving different types of customers. Teams will use these views to understand the type of reactive work that's slowing them down. It will help them make a case for investing in automating things that currently require manual work. Just having the language around investments helps you ensure that teams think about reducing technical debt in an intentional way, focusing on the highest impact projects. Initiatives are your organization's most important work, usually spanning multiple engineering teams and quarters. As an engineering leader, you'll want to make sure that you're on track and communicate progress with stakeholders in and outside of engineering organization. The initiatives view in Swarmia allows you to see all your ongoing initiatives at a glance and quickly identify the ones that are moving along as planned and the ones that might be at risk. You can drill into each initiative to see its scope and progress against the target timeline you've set, the different work items that make up the initiative, and the teams that have contributed to the initiative during its lifetime. From here, you'll be able to identify any competing priorities and possible bottlenecks so you can proactively support the people and teams that might need help getting unblocked. The data here is based on actual activities instead of an outdated plan. This added visibility will help you deliver engineering initiatives more predictably while also making progress transparent to everyone in the organization. Understanding the cost of your initiatives is an important part of evaluating the investment. The collaboration between engineering and finance has sometimes been quite limited, but it doesn't have to be that way. Swarmia can help you create cost capitalization reports about your software development activities in an automated and auditable way. First, Swarmia helps you understand the time investment in initiatives or categories of work. The FTE time investment is calculated based on data from your source code repositories and issued records. It's a transparent algorithm that's easy to explain and analyze. The time investment is then combined with information about the cost of work. You can add salary information based on job levels, or individual salaries from your HR system. The final part of the analysis is exported to a spreadsheet that your finance team can use for reporting. 
Swarmy provides a flexible way to build software cost capitalization reports that doesn't require your engineers to spend time on manual time tracking. You can easily trace the work from the spreadsheet all the way to individual actions to make sure that everything's represented correctly. And because we know that different organizations have different reporting requirements, we're happy to help you tailor your cost capitalization report to the way you work. The developer productivity lens is about understanding the systemic factors slowing you down. In Swarmia, you'll find carefully selected metrics based on the latest research on engineering productivity, including Dora and Space. We make sure that your team structure is accurately reflected and take into account how your teams might be using tools differently. We don't expect your teams to have perfect Jira hygiene for the data to make sense. From the organization overview, you can dive deeper into specific areas. Flow metrics, for example, show whether you're able to ship continuously without getting stuck. Typically, the first metric to improve is cycle time, because the benefits of iterating quickly are clear and it's relatively easy to improve. You can find the four DORA metrics from Deployment Insights. In each case, you can drill deeper to understand the data points behind the aggregate metrics. This is useful both for being able to explain the number, but also for the team to recognize patterns. Maybe some type of work is more likely to get stuck than another. All the data is updated in real time, so teams can come here to analyze a project they just completed. You can also export data from most views for further analysis. Focus is one of the biggest levers to improve developer productivity. You'll want to ensure your teams are working on the right things, able to prioritize their work, and consistently completing projects, wrapping up ongoing work before they pick up something new. The work log helps managers and teams diagnose activity patterns in ongoing work. Starting from the high level, you can look at activity on larger projects or drill down to the work of individual teams. In the high-level view, each cell represents a week, and the color indicates activity, where darker blue means more activity, including completed tasks, commits, pull request reviews, and so on. What we're looking to achieve is a steady staircase pattern where teams work on a manageable number of stories and complete ongoing ones before starting new ones. The anti-pattern becomes clearly visible when a team gets dragged to ever-changing new priorities or simply tries to do too many things at once. You can also zoom in further, focusing on two weeks of work at a time. In this detailed view, you'll be able to address questions like, how many user stories are we working on at once? Are we able to make progress on all ongoing stories? Or are we getting stuck? Are we collaborating on larger stories? How much reactive work are we doing? When you start using the work log, you'll see that your teams work on more things than what's shown in your issue tracker. Often, even up to 60% of the work is ad hoc and doesn't appear on the roadmap. When you spot a project that needs a closer look, you can open it in the sidebar. Here, you'll see who's been working on it, as well as all of its activity, including the longest running tasks, scope creep, and progress towards completion. For a more detailed view, you can also expand it to a dedicated page. By looking at the work log in ceremonies like retrospectives, teams will learn to prioritize their time and actively address any issues in their workflow. Using metrics is a tricky topic when evaluating the performance of individuals. It's easy to do more harm than good by simply reducing individuals to a number. It's also risky to rely on metrics when coaching individuals to improve, as metrics can be gamed and don't truly represent the engineer's work. Instead of metrics, Swarmia focuses on assessing the impact of an individual by visualizing their work. This helps both engineers and their managers gain an understanding on what the engineer has been working on and identify potential areas for improvement. In the developer overview, managers can see what kind of work a developer has been doing, who they've been collaborating with, and the projects where they've had the most impact. It also offers engineers an opportunity to reflect on their past work and celebrate progress. There's also a human aspect to effectiveness, and that's why you'll want to invest in the experience of building software at your company. This is what the developer experience lens is all about. Identifying areas of improvement is just the starting point will actually want to act on your findings. Swarmia helps you put continuous improvement on autopilot by allowing teams to adopt working agreements and keeping them accountable to the agreed ways of working. For example, a team could look at the insights in Swarmia and notice that their code reviews are taking longer than they used to. The team can then decide to adopt a working agreement to get their code reviewed, for example, within 24 hours. When a team adopts a working agreement, Swarmia automatically reflects that in different parts of the product. 
The team can also subscribe to Slack notifications that gently nudge them to follow the agreed ways of working. Another example of a working agreement would be to say, the team wants at least two developers to collaborate on any bigger project. This way, they'll prevent siloing by sharing knowledge about anything that they build. These automated feedback loops help teams build and practice healthy habits that translate to improved developer experience. Great developer experience often comes down to minimizing wait time, distractions, and interruptions. The continuous integration pipeline is a common culprit for those issues. The CI insights in Swarmia give you the kind of detailed insights you need to identify the repositories and workflows with the most room for improvement. You can clearly see which parts of your workflows fail frequently or take the longest to run and identify the root causes of slowness or flakiness. By allowing you to identify specific issues and tests that can be improved, CI Insights can help you dramatically reduce CI wait times and costs. In fact, just by signing up, you could immediately save $20,000 on your CI costs. Developer satisfaction plays a huge role in the overall productivity of your engineering organization. But a satisfaction isn't something that's easy to measure with system metrics. Swarmia allows you to run custom surveys for the whole engineering organization or a subset of it. We've developed our own survey framework, which you can use as a starting point for creating your first survey. The respondents can leave open comments to any question anonymously or with their name. When the survey has closed, you'll see the results in Swarmia. The heat map allows you to quickly recognize areas of improvement as well as possible topics for follow-up surveys. You can also filter the results down to only see answers from specific teams or groups. By combining survey data with the other insights in Swarmia, you'll be able to come up with a clear action plan for improving engineering effectiveness in your organization. All of these features become much more insightful once you have a look at your own data. You'll learn something new about your organization almost immediately. As you get set up, we're happy to work with you to make sure Swarmia supports your ways of working. Our customer success team has a proven process to get your teams on board, whether you're ready to roll out Swarmia for the whole organization at once or start with a few teams. If you'd like to see a live demo or explore Swarmia on your own with a free trial, you can get started at swarmia.com.